excited. Yeah. Who's that? I'm here. Who's that? Uh, we are fishing a tournament today. What's up, my man? How you been? Um, great. It's been, it's been a minute. Great, ready to whoop some ass. Oh, yeah. it's gonna be one of those days, huh? <laughs> and starting off early. It's trash talking. We are fishing a tournament today. It's just a little friendly tournament. That is Milliken. And uh, we're gonna see if we can catch fish. This was the lake we got. Ethan, didn't didn't we get a little bit of hate last time we fished here? I got a call from the game in parks, and you got destroyed on some forums. And so, if, if any of you guys are watching, that uh, any of you old guys that are salty are watching, yeah. we don't care. I mean, that's we, we don't care. So uh, yeah, so long story short, uh, some some people complained that Ethan and I we were throwing five bass in the live and then releasing them afterwards and uh they try to get me in trouble saying it's illegal that this is private property even though ethan literally lives here and uh and yeah so that's what we're gonna do today so all the haters can hate all they want we really just do not care hopefully we're gonna catch the fish today it is a uh brisk fall morning right now it's um it's about 10 4 a.m we're probably gonna fish for like three four hours or so i'm gonna shut up we gotta launch the boats uh i believe i'll be with ethan maybe we'll see and uh we can catch some fish. So this is the uh, the bait that I'm starting with today. Here we are, folks. We are out in the boat. I am with Ethan, and Milliken is down at yonder, and uh, we're blasting off here. Should be interesting. We uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna fish. Uh, what it three one hour sessions or something like that, and we might actually even hop to another lake. We'll see how this goes. Hopefully, you guys enjoy. Starting off with the world's stupidest looking bait. Was it six seven inches? Seven. Seven. Seven inch ribbon tail. Pink tail, purple worm on a shaggy head. Don't ask me why, but uh, we'll see if this works. Two hours later. Fatty. What does it weigh? 593. 593. Is oh, that man. your PB? What's your PB? That's this? That's your PB. Yeah. He caught his Dude. PB. New PB. Ooh. The big gotta put on for the YouTube, you know. The other team just caught a six pounder. We'll count it as six. I'll be nice. Uh, they caught a six pounder. So the end of the two hour session is it, it's over. So what we're doing is we are moving lakes, like I said before. So we did two hours here, and we're gonna do like an hour, maybe two hours over there. It just kind of depends. Uh, this next lake, Ethan said, Ethan said that uh, there's a lot of fish in the other lakes. This one was like the Biggins Lake. The other one is like the Flarefish Lake. So we're gonna go there. And so right now they caught a six pounder, so we're gonna give them a six fish lead on us. And we are gonna do hopefully like a one hour challenge where we just count the numbers of fish that we catch. So they already have a six fish lead on us. We're gonna head over there and see how many fish we can catch against these guys. You're good. We have made it out to the second lake. It is crystal clear here. This should be a lot of fun. I'm actually really excited. There, he did say there are some big fish, so don't get too discouraged before you watch this part, thinking that I'm only gonna catch squeakers because you just never know. There's probably big fish in here and it's clear, which means I'm probably gonna throw a Ned rig, Texas rig like jig or a craw or something like that, and uh, and maybe even the jerk bait, which would be actually quite a bit of fun to throw a jerk bait. I haven't thrown a jerk bait in quite some time. Anyways, I'm gonna, I'm gonna shut up and uh, drive the boat down yonder and uh, see if we can catch the fish. Here we go, folks. The fish catching machine, the old knee rig. That's what I'm gonna start with here. So the water's crystal clear, which is a great choice for a, a Ned rig. You throw a drop shot, I'm sure it would work. I'm not a giant fan of the drop shot. I tend to lose a lot of fish on that bait. Uh, are you doing jerk bait? Uh, we'll see. I'm probably gonna start off with a little Texas rig. Texas rig. All right, I'll throw a Texas rig. There's, there's one. Oh, he came off. All right, I see how it is. I see how it is. Come on, girl. Oh, I see a fish. I can see a baby, baby bass up there. Let's see if I can catch him right under that pipe. It's like tiny, eight incher. Right on, or I landed on top of him. Fish, fish. Yeah, you see him? Yeah, I got him. Turned on. Is that like average size? I don't know. I can't really wonder, wonder if that's why I'm missing them. They're, those are small fish. Got him. I caught him. Yep, I saw that fish. That's called sight fishing, boys. Squeaker, there's one. Now they're only, well, I don't know how many they have. I take that back and say they only have five on us now, but that is my first fish. Look how defined that lateral line is, though. That is crazy. That's, that's when you can tell the water's clear and fairly chilly is when their lateral line's looking that, that way. That's fish number one, Squeak Squeak McGee on the net rig. That was funny, I sight fished that fish. You can see him laying under a pipe. I threw right on top of him. 
he actually he actually ate it. So that's good. One fish down. We got uh, we got a lot a lot of ground to make up. We've only got about an hour left in the challenge to uh, to make a comeback here. There's one. Yep. 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 There's two. Oh, there's three. Look at this. There we go. We doubled up, folks. Gosh, this is a this is just a dink fest, but you know, this is what happens when you don't catch fish on the big fish lake. You have to come and do the the flare fishing episode. But I mean, hopefully you guys are enjoying this still. I I want to never just you know not post a video because I'm catching small fish. Because one, that's just kind of my thing, and two, you know, that's just it's you know I'm not a professional fisherman. I catch squeakers just like this, and just like probably a lot of you guys do. So. You know, it is what it is, but that's three. So right now we are still down three, and they may have some fish. So we're at least down three fish. There's one. Yep. Yep. Here we go. That's four. Oh, what the? All right. That's three, I guess. No. <laughs> that one could have cost us. Got him? There you go. First cast with the net rig. Switched over. Bring him in here. That's four. That one counts. Hell yeah. We got Absolute four. We got four. Swan. We are just slaunch hunting today, boys. That is four. Yep. That's five. Woo! So for those of you guys at home that are looking for tips, you catch one? Yeah, bring them in here. That's six. There we go. We got them dialed in now. So for those of you guys at home that want some tips, the old net rig free promotion for uh, Z Man. They might not. But this this little deal right there is that's. Anytime I'm just trying to get a bite, and I don't care how big the fish is, this is the bait of choice. Yep, there he is. Get in here. Get in here. Get in here. Seven. Seven. All right, see, buddy. He'll come back. There he is. There he is. Get it. Get it. Get it. There you go. There you go. He's totally sight fished that. Is that another no, different one? No, that was a different one. Okay, I'll the throw one, in there. I'll throw the in there. That That's eight. I scared him away when I... That's eight. There he is. There he is. That's nine. Get in here. Get in here. That's nine. Here we go. We're sight fishing him now. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. There you go. There's 10. Bring them in here. On the jerk bait. Yeah, that's right. 10, baby. It's, it's the paws. Yeah, they like that paws. There we go. I just was rigging up. That's, uh, yeah, that's 11 right there. Woo! There he is. Get him, get him, get him. That's 12. Come on, get up in here. Woo! That's 12, baby. 12. There's one. That's 13. Get in here, boy. Yes. 13. Slaying. I am a professional bass fisherman, folks. That's why I just caught that slide. Get him. Get him. That's 14. Get him. Get him. Stay down. Stay down. Stay down. That's 14. Yeah, I know. How we, I don't know how we're missing so many fish. That is uh, 14, folks. There we go. There we go. There we go. Right in front of the old milkman himself. That is uh, 15, I think, or something. 15, maybe. I don't know. I didn't graduate college so this counting thing's not really all that easy for me wait is this the non-college graduates versus the college graduates yeah. wait you both graduated we the didn't... uneducated versus the educated which boats which who knows <laughs> all right folks as of right now we've got 20 minutes left we are uh i think we're one down from them even they've caught 10 so far and we've caught 15 and they had a six six fish lead so now it's tied now it's tied. No! Oh! That ties us. That's 16. Wait, if I put them like right here, does that, it make it look huge? Yes, looks giant. Like, right there. 16, baby. There's it. There he is. Here we are. We're in a school of them. That's 17. Get them on the boat. Yes, 17, baby. Yep. 18. 18. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Yep. Yep. Is that 19? 19, baby. There's one. That's 21. Right? Get in here, buddy. 21. 21. Oh, that still counts. Catch and release. He was in the boat. 21. Look at that. Look how fast he's running. There we go. 22. 22, baby. Yep. 23. See, buddy. Small we got two more. We have so we have four minutes, guys. Four minutes, and we need to catch two more fish to catch 25. Come on, we can do it. We can do that. You you guys beat us in the in the big fish challenge on the we big did. lake. We did. Did we beat you on the small one? How many did you guys have? We had 19. 
19 we took it we won they had a six fish lead we came in with 23 we should have had about 67 <laughs> with how many we missed literally i missed probably three times as many as i caught that was just stupid 19 to 23 huh What's the loser have to do? So we didn't come up with a punishment, so uh, let us know in the comment section down below what you, what you think we should do so the next time him and I fish, he can do that punishment. If you guys come up with a good idea, let me know. But uh, yeah, we gotta put the boat on the trailer and uh, we'll probably die doing that, right? Because yeah, sure. Milk and Struck actually slid into the lake, believe it or not, when he was going down, so this should be interesting. Well, folks, that was not as bad as I expected. I expected to actually spin my tires a little bit of milk, and when he backed it down, he slid all the way down it, so I thought it was gonna be worse, but not too bad. It was a great day fishing with the fam and catching flare fish. I mean, I can't complain. That's kind of my thing, you know? It's I fish milk, and that's when we catch the big ones, but when I go against him, I catch all the small fish. So that is that. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up and drop a comment down below what you think Milliken should do for the punishment. Also, hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Thank you so much for watching and peace!